Welcome to the Soul Expression Course page. I'm Janet Connor. You may know that I'm the author of a few books, Writing Down Your Soul and its companion journal, My Soul Pages, The Lotus and the Lily, and its companion journal, My Life Pages, and the newest book that came out this year, Soul Vows, Gathering the Presence of the Divine in you, through you, and as you. Those are all beautiful, mystical practices. And I will be, in March, the author of this <laughs> beautiful book, The Soul Discovery Coloring Book. Noodle, doodle, and scribble your way to what? An extraordinary life. I wanted to show you all that because I am living in this beautiful, delicious, creative flow. And that's an invitation I would so love to extend to you. Your soul wants five things. And the fourth thing is to ex express its beauty. Every soul, every soul, every soul wants to express its beauty and express it to the full. But how do you do that? Well, John O'Donohue answered the question, beauty only reveals itself when the mind's attention is radical and the imagination is finely tuned. So how are you going to get your attention radical and how are you going to get finely, finely tuned? Well, it's all about entering the imaginal realm. Now, this imaginal realm is a word that actually came into my awareness because of conversations with Christine Penza, the artist who's working with me on this coloring book. I don't know who started saying it first, but we started saying the imaginal realm, the imaginal realm. Well, I stumbled around online and fell into learning that the word imaginal realm was coined by a great scholar, Henry Corbin, who wrote many books. This is his great tome, Creative Imagination in the Sufism of Ibn Arbi. Henry Corbin created this word to try to convey to Christian Westerners that in order to really understand the Quran, in order to understand a mystic like Ibn Arabi, Hafez, Rumi, you need to understand that they are living in an imaginal realm, which is not imaginary. It's real. It's a world where the eyes see what the physical eyes cannot. The ears hear what the physical ears cannot. This is where you have communion with angels, animal messengers, where the beloved is a living presence, where your divine teacher is teaching you and it's real and it's fully present and you know that it's real. Now, how do you perceive all of this? Through your clairs, clairaudience, clairvoyance, claircognizance, and more. And that's what soul expression is all about. The care and feeding of your imaginal soul. Now, imaginal realm may have been a new word to me, but once I read this book, I realized it's not a new place for me. It's not a new reality for me. I have been living in the imaginal realm since the early 1990s, when I first learned to pray outside in the way of the first people, calling on the powers and spirits of the directions, feeling their presence. This wasn't words. It wasn't an idea. It was real. And I was introduced to my animal messengers, and I began having conversations with them. And they are real. And then I began to meet my angels and work with my angels. And this year, it all came together with this understanding of the imaginal realm as a place. It's a very real place. And what's in that place? Your teacher, your guides, your angels, and everything, everything that's waiting to be brought to life in and through you already exists. So we say that we are creative. We say that we are 
in a state of creativity. And that sounds like we are creating something from nothing. But as Matthew Fox kind of covers it perfectly in his book, Creativity, listen to the subtitle, where the divine and the human meet. <laughs> where do they meet? In the imaginal realm. So I'd like to give you your ticket into the imaginal realm. Some of the things you're going to discover in here, because it's not about really learning anything. It's about expanding your capacity. It's just about expanding your clears, expanding your capacity, expanding your awareness of the mystical presence that's already here. So how are you going to expand your capacity? Well, number one, it's about spending as much time in theta as possible because everything happens in the theta brainwave state. And it just so happens that that's what writing down your soul is about. That's the game I've been playing for so long. I have many, many, many ways to help you enter and expand your time in theta. Of course, we'll be soul writing. But with Christine Penza, we're also going to be soul scribbling and soul doodling. And I'll teach you visual meditation. So this isn't traditional meditation where you try to get your mind to be still and focus instead you expand your capacity to see what is happening in your heart. And there are energetic blocks to all this, and so I will take you on a guided meditation with the Great Creator, and your Divine Teacher will remove any blocks in your field. I'll teach you how to partner with the angels, and I'll introduce you to Margo Mastro Markey, who taught me how to partner with the angels. And you will meet your muse with Gail McMeekin. And you're going to learn how to see, see color in particular as a living being with Joy Domena. And I'm going to introduce you to a living muse and a great scholar on all the mystical traditions, Mirror by Star. Miravai Star will be joining us towards the end of the course. And Marianne Ronmacher, the most prolific artist and author I know. And the woman who first said to me, my work is my play, and my play is my work, and everything, everything is prayer. Well, everything I do in this room is prayer. Every book I write is a prayer. These are all prayers. Every course I teach is a prayer. Every soul-directed life radio show is a prayer. Everything I do is a prayer. And it all happens in this mystical, magical place, the imaginal realm. Come join me in this exquisite, invitation to the mystical world that is alive inside of you right here <laughs> right here in the imaginal realm